How's it going, Banger TV fans? Dylan Gowan here. Welcome back to another installment of Overkill Reviews, Banger TV's weekly heavy metal review show. I'm not at the Banger Bar today. I'm actually at my jam space. I have my drum kit right in front of me. And after I'm done taping this video, I'm gonna go practice for three or four hours, depending on how I'm feeling. But regardless, today is a very exciting day because I get to talk about one of my favorite bands of all time. It's the brand new 12th studio album by Catatonia called Sky Void of Stars out today on Napalm Records. This is the first album of theirs on Napalm Records and it's really weird to see them be with a label outside of Peaceful, but regardless of that, that's a whole discussion for another day. Let's get into the bio. Catatonia are a Swedish progressive metal band that formed in 1991 by its founding members Jonas Ranks and Anders Nyström. The band was inspired by the late 80s and early 90s doom, metal, and death metal scenes. Originally, the band started off as a death doom band, producing some of the subgenre's most influential albums, such as Dance of December Souls and Brave Murder Day. Since the late 90s, the band has undergone a significant change in their sound, incorporating more elements of goth, alternative, electronic, post-rock, shoegaze, um, as well as electronic music and progressive rock, which has now entered them into the prog sphere. While being diverse in their sound, the band has this very melancholic and atmospheric approach when it comes to their music and their lyrics, making them one of the more unique bands within progressive metal. This is why Catatonia is one of my favorite bands. There's so many different styles and tones, and it's just fantastic every time they blend everything together. And every time that I put on a Catatonia record, it takes you on such an adventure. I've seen this band nine times, and I remember the first time I ever saw Catatonia live was back in 2010 when I was about 17, and they had... Uh, Swallow the Sun and Orphanland opening for them. It was such an absolute fantastic show and I've seen them in Toronto live ever since that. If you're new to Catatonia, I would recommend checking out Night is a New Day first or you could check out maybe uh, Great The Great Cold Distance or Discouraged Ones. And in fact, you know what? Every sort of album of theirs is a good place to start because it's they always put out solid records. So the question that I have going into this review is what new songwriting elements are they bringing this time around and how does this album differ from all the other Catatonia releases? Well, let's find out. One thing I noticed right away after listening to Sky Void of Stars is that this is their more most diverse sounding and more progressive leaning album to date. I mean, you still get the familiar sounds of Catatonia, like you still get the doom and the goth side and the alternative and the electronic, but this is now more under the sense of a progressive mindset. Like the structure of the songs are very different. The um, It plays a lot with different time signatures as well as having a lot more uh, rhythmically adventurous um, choices when it comes to the overall um, song structure of throughout this whole entire album. Love the fact that each song has a lot to unpack with all the different styles that they jump from. And it just shows that that there's a lot of risk taking on this album and the band is really well rewarded by doing this because they create such a unique album that is different from any other record that they've ever made in their entire career. Each song really stands out by its own merits. They're all very different from each other, but it still sounds like a Catatonia record. And that's what makes this album such a fun listen and also a really hard record to review because you immediately get lost in the songs themselves and how musically adventurous each one is. But there's three songs in particular that really stood out in terms of showing how strong Catatonia are as songwriters. The first song I wanted to talk about is Austerity, how it is such a chaotic song and one that is such a welcome change to the kind of build, like the slow kind of burn builds that you hear in a lot of Catatonia records. But this one is just high energy right out of the gate and it's so uh, chaotic 
and it has so many peaks and valleys how it goes from really intense to really calm and it kind of goes in a wave and it's up and down. Uh, really loved how it jumps from the different styles, how it goes from very proggy to very doom metal and loved the, um, the jazz electronic inspired bridge part that kind of gives the last chorus a huge lift and it creates a lot of tension within this track jumping from all the different um, genres that they've um, that they've experimented with throughout their whole entire career. So it's such a strong start to the record that they've started off with one of the more chaotic songs that they've ever written. The second song I wanted to talk about is Birds, how it's so explosive out of the gate and how it's such high energy and it keeps that momentum going throughout the whole entire song and it never loses steam. And plus the synths and the keyboards that they use adds um, a really nice dimension to the songs, gives it a lot of depth, and it just shows that the subtleness of using keyboards um, helps create that really good atmosphere that Catatonia are known for but they use it in a sense that's not overbearing and how it's just perfect and it kind of gives this song a bit more of a lift by having that little uh, element that jumps in and out. Even though the song is very straightforward in its structure, the way that they piece everything together is excellent and how the riff is so driving and it just feels like it's always um, pushing towards something that's even more um, impactful than the next part. It's such a killer, well-balanced song that really highlights the more kind of straightforward and more kind of alternative metal side of the band. The last one I wanted to mention was No Beacon to Illuminate Our Fall, which shows the more kind of calm and chaotic side of, of Catatonia, but also kind of highlighting the more doom metal side and more of their roots. And that's another great thing about this record is that despite them constantly changing uh, their sound stylistically, it's, they're not changing who they are as songwriters. So they're staying true to themselves to not alienate anybody who has been comfortable with Catatonia's sound for so many years. But the reason why this song particularly is really strong is because it has all that peaks and valleys like you would in austerity, but the way that each part builds into something more epic and intense, it just, it just draws you in by just the sheer anticipation of where the song is heading. But despite all of that, the thing that really took me by surprise was the kind of death metal inspired part that's in the middle of the song that was really unexpected and a really welcome addition to this record. And I always thought that that type of music was more reserved for their other band, Bloodbath. But I'm glad to see that they kind of took some of those elements and they brought it into Catatonia. And it just shows that this band is very creative when it comes to uh, stringing a lot of these kind of uh, creative sections together. So like I said, these songs are very adventurous. It's great that they're still uh, trying something new after over 30 years. And it just shows that the creativity within Catatonia is completely limitless. And they try all of these different ideas and it works really well in their favor, especially on an album like Sky Void of Stars. Daniel's drumming on this album is absolutely fantastic and the creative choices that he make within we yeah. <clears throat> what's great about Daniel's playing this time around is that he decides to kind of let loose when there's kind of a big open space within these songs so it leads to him making a lot of really clever grooves and creative fills than he wouldn't have otherwise if he wasn't given the opportunity to try and try something new he adds a lot more fills and a lot more unique grooves that I haven't heard in his playing before. But that's not to say that his drumming was never solid. His drumming was freaking fantastic on all the other releases that he's been a part of. But it just shows that he's took the next level in his playing on this record. Like, I loved the fills in Drab Moon, how they go from 
this like how they kind of rush the beat a little, how he kind of rushes a little bit. And it adds some tension to the song that um, that you wouldn't expect in a very kind of calm song like Dra like Drab Moon. Um, Scalera is another great song that he that that he absolutely shines in. How love the Tom grooves that he throws in that are very kind of Jerry Murata, uh, Phil Collins esque, and it just you know just it sounds so thunderous and it fits that song so well. And I love the kind of cross stick pattern that he does at the beginning of the song, and it just shows that he's able to. Um, you know, really kind of expand the dynamic range of all of these songs. And I'm just blown away by his uh, playing on this record. I really hope that this album really highlights him as a player because he's very underrated and he deserves a lot more recognition. And yeah, so Daniel, dude, you knocked it out of the park with this record. It's absolutely, your drumming's absolutely killer. Jonas arguably has one of the more unique voices within metal, and you can tell it's him right away by his somber, melancholic uh, tone in his voice. This album perfectly highlights all of his strengths and how strong he is as one of metal's great frontmen. And what's great about him is that he's able to put you at the center of the storyline in all of the songs. And it's just, it's so cleverly written, all of the lyrics, that it really paints a picture in your head of what the main character is going through in the song and how relatable a lot of these lyrics are to your own experiences. See my scars, they come from the other half. The drowning God, my words are bouncing off the ground. I see them all around, but your back was turned, my heart had to learn. Even though those lyrics are very simple, it just completely paints a perfect picture of the person just, you know, being very misanthropic and in despair and agony and it just sets the tone for what's to be expected within the rest of the song. And it's just those kind of simple lyrics, but well delivered, that make Jonas one of the best front men in progressive metal and in metal in general. From my final point, it's kind of a two-parter. Like I wanted to mention that the artwork on this album is absolutely fantastic. I love the distorted font and the crows kind of hovering over the alleyway. Uh, you see the, the car that's decrepit. Uh, the violent rain that's kind of going down as well as you see the um, on the street lamp that there's the cut wires. So it takes a little bit of inspiration from all of the lyrics that are on this record. So it's really cool to kind of discover which of the little parts on the um, on the artwork is connected to which song. So it's always really fun doing that. Um, yeah, so overall it creates a really good visual um, interpretation of this record. But the main point I wanted to mention is the pacing on this album is absolutely fantastic. How every new idea that is presented within all the songs, it's never jarring and it's never, uh, never takes you back from the experience. And this record sounds like it's a fully complete album rather than just a collection of ideas. So the pacing on this album is absolutely fantastic and it highlights all the different sides of Catatonia perfectly. Uh, it's a, basically a summary of their career up until this point and the way that they have all of these songs structured it makes it absolutely perfect. Overall, this is another great release by Catatonia and they just proved to be one of the best bands within Prague. Everyone delivers a very solid performance. The artwork's fantastic, the production's great. And they just set the bar so high for other progressive metal bands this year. So I'll be curious to hear all the other bands that put out um, records this year and compare it to Catatonia's because um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough. And we're not even a month into 2023 and they set the bar very, very high. Catatonia with their new album, Sky Void of Stars, is an easy four and a half out of five skulls. Definitely check out this record if you're a progressive metal fan, a Doom fan, a Goth fan, an alternative metal fan. Basically, if you're a metal fan, check out this album pretty much after this video. Do it, do it! All right, time for some shout outs. Here are some other albums that came out today that I recommend you guys checking out after this video. First up, I would recommend ID Entity by Riverside. It's a great, great album. They kind of combine old school progressive rock with alternative uh, music as well. They have some progressive metal moments, but they're more kind of lenient into the old school progressive rock side. So definitely check out that band and that record because it's awesome. Next up, I would recommend Lord Mountain, The Oath. 
really interesting band. I discovered them on Bandcamp not too long ago, so I'm fairly new to them, but they've got a really cool uh, style to them. They kind of have some elements of doom metal as well as stoner metal, uh, some psychedelic rock. So they're a really solid band to, to listen to. And uh, I would definitely check out these guys. Finally, I'd recommend Twilight Force at the Heart of Wintervale, which also comes out on Napalm Records today. Very over-the-top, cheesy power metal. Like, as nerdy as you can possibly get. Nerd! Uh, yeah, this band's so over-the-top, and I've been a, on a bit of a power metal kick the last um, couple weeks. So, yeah, I'd say definitely check out those guys. Uh, they're on tour in Europe with um, Silver Bullet and Seven Spires, so if you're in the area, definitely go check out that show because I bet they would put on a very, very entertaining live, uh, live show. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to check out some of the other reviews on the channel. Daniel just reviewed the new obituary record. So definitely check out that video. I uh, can't wait to talk about some more prog later on this year. And yeah, guys, definitely check out Sky Void of Stars by Catatonia. Also, let me know what you think of that album in the comments section below. Until then, next time, guys, take care. See you soon. Enjoy the new record and see ya.